Hello, and our passage today is from Luke chapter 4, verses 14 to 30. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread throughout the whole countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue. As was his custom, he stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me. To preach good news to the poor, he has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind. To release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began by saying to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. Isn't this Joseph's son? they asked. Jesus said to them, Surely you will quote this proverb to me. Physician, heal yourself. Do hear in your hometown what we have heard you did in Capernaum. I tell you the truth, he continued, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time when the sky was shut out for three and a half years and there was a severe famine throughout the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them, but to widow, a widow in Zarephath in the region of Sidon. And there were many in Israel with leprosy in the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. All the people in the synagogue were furious when they heard this. They got up, drove him out of the town, and took him to the brow of the hill on which the town was built, in order to throw him down the cliff. But he walked right through the crowd, and went on his way. And it's through this passage, when we come back to it, it's, it's sort of, the conclusion of it is, 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 is it's so astonishing, isn't it? People were so furious with Jesus that they they drove him out of town and intended to kill him. And here we are at the, the very outset of Jesus' ministry. And he comes he comes to his hometown. And it's this issue, I suppose, throughout Jesus' ministry of people not realising who he was, not realising the implications of who he was and having false expectations, I suppose. So you'd think he goes back to Nazareth and Nazareth is on home ground. You know, he'll be good, he'll be fine. And indeed, you know, at uh, around um, verse 22, all spoke well of him and were away amazed. Isn't that Joseph's son, they asked. So what turns them? What is it that um, changes the mood so dramatically from speaking well of him, recognising him as Joseph's son. But of course, that's the point, I suppose. See, they recognise him as Joseph's son and there's this sort of local sense of, of recognising this, this person. But they don't recognise that he's the son of God. And the thing that turns it is, is I suppose, the, the truth of what Jesus is telling them. When he reads out the, um, the scroll, the text on the scroll, and he's talking about his own um, ministry to come, his, his liberation sort of message, and, and, and um, proclaiming freedom for prisoners, recovery of sight for the blind, releasing the oppressed. But this isn't this isn't going to be limited to, to his hometown. And he gives them examples of, of um, 
of situations where where um, where prophets actually he mentions Elijah Elisha um, attended to people well outside what might be considered to be their their immediate um, zone of influence if you like or zone of operation the same we have isn't there it's often used charity begins at home but but of course for Jesus that that isn't that isn't the way of it and it's that's what made the people furious that um, Jesus wasn't there to attend to them particularly um, he, he, had, he had you know he was on a much bigger mission than that and indeed it might not not be their needs that he attends to it might well be others some distance away and that they can't they can't take can they such a dramatic closing of this passage in in verses 28 to 30 they were furious drove him out of town took him to the brow of a hill on which the town was built in order to throw him down the cliff and in a way i suppose it's a potted version in a nutshell of, of, of what happens in Jesus's whole ministry on earth isn't it he is pursued to the cross isn't he ultimately and what we see acting out here in this in this little vignette this little passage here is very telling very ominous for what for what is to play out throughout um, Jesus ministry on earth so such a, an ominous passage and one that as as i said at the outset uh never ceases to make me do a double take really even though i've read it and heard it before hmm. god bless <laughs>